Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. <laughs> The Cisco Kid in our exciting story, Double Cross at Gila Bend. The town of Gila Bend, like any other frontier town, had a good start. The people who settled there were hard-working, industrious folk. But as soon as the town showed signs of a little prosperity, crooked officials and human vultures moved in and tried to take over. As our story opens, two of them walk along the dirt street, heading for the bank. Stop that whistling, Paul. You make me nervous. Huh? I can't figure you know how. We're on our way to rob a man and kill him, and you act like he was going to a Sunday school picnic, blast you. <laughs> the trouble with you, Tex, is that you're too touchy. You live longer if you relax and take it easy. I've lived long enough without that kind of advice. I don't need it now. Have it your own way. But if you continue to act like you are, you'll tip our hand as soon as we walk into the bank. All right, all right. Don't be telling me how to act. You take care of getting the money... I'm going to get that banker, Roy Dawson. As I said before, relax. This is all going to work out fine. Shut up, everybody. These guns in my hand spell hold up. You, Dawson. Remember me? Tex Rawlins. The armory you witnessed against. It was your evidence that sent me to the pen. I remember you all right, Tex. I told you I'd be back and that I'd kill you. And I aim to keep my word. I don't know who you are, stranger, but you saved my life when you shot Tex Rollins. Thanks. Sure am grateful to you. Well, after all, I just couldn't stand by and watch him shoot you, could I? Well, when the two of you come in, I thought you were together, Mr. Uh... Uh, Morgan. Paul Morgan's my name. I'm Roy Dawson. I own the bank. I want to show my gratitude with a check. Come on back into my office. Oh, I assure you there's no need for that, Mr. Now, Dawson. I won't take no for an answer. I insist. Oh, uh, just, just a minute. Take over at the cashier's cage, will you, Ralph? And say, will one of you boys get the undertaker? Come in, Mr. Morgan. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> well, Paul, the plan worked out just like you said it would. <laughs> yes, Roy, it did. Tex Rollins was stupid, easy to fool. If the rest of our plan goes off as smoothly... Of course it will. You're a hero in this town by now. After all, you just shot a wanted bank robber. What's trouble now, Paul? I know that when you start whistling that way, someone's going to die. Hey, you may be right about the town. I was just thinking about the Cisco kid. He's been trailing Tex. And you figure he'll be trailing him here to heal a bend? I do. And he won't be as easy to fool as the townspeople. We'll have to eliminate Cisco. We'll get help on that score from the law. The law? Yeah. You mean that Sheriff Conlon is siding with us? Yep. And as this is the first time Conlon's ever been a sheriff, Cisco won't know nothing about him. Have you any idea about uh, what we ought to do to get rid of Cisco? I will have. Be assured. I will. Is this good thing we find Tex Rollins here in Gila Band? Well, if he has been here, the sheriff will know about it. We know the sheriff here, Cisco. No, Pancho, we've never met him. Uh-huh. I think this is the first term he has ever served as sheriff. Uh, here the sheriff's over, Cisco, and there the sheriff. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look. What is this, Senor Sheriff? Uh, what is this, Senor Sheriff? Howdy. Looks like you two have had a long ride. We have, Senor Sheriff. Sheriff Conlon's my name. Uh, we the Cisco Kid and Pancho. Cisco Kid and Pancho. Uh-huh. I've heard of you two. Come on into my office. We are trailing Tex Rollins, Sheriff Conlon. He escaped from the territorial penitentiary. He, he escaped from the, t- t- from, the t- 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 uh, from the prison. Well, you come to the end of the trail, Cisco. 
Tex Rollins is dead. He was shot in the back by an hombre named Paul Morgan. Tex tried to hold up the bank. Paul had to shoot him. Shot in the back? Mm-hmm. That is very strange. Why, Cisco, why that strange? Tex Rollins was careful and smart. He never would have allowed anyone to shoot him in the back. Yeah, that's right, Cisco. Yeah, you got something there. Tex was cagey, all right. Maybe Morgan took him by surprise. That does not seem right to me, Senor Sheriff. Besides, Pancho and I know that Tex was supposed to meet someone here in Gila Bend. See, we find that out when the Tex bandido break out of jail. Well, I can tell you there ain't been no suspicious-looking hombres in town. If Tex was going to meet anyone, I'd have spotted him. Yeah, like the sheriff spotted Tex Coyote, no? I wasn't even in town then. I was trying to pick up the trail of rustlers that stole some cattle from Roy Dawson. Roy Dawson? Uh, he is the banker, is he not? Yeah, that's him. The banker owns a uh, cattle rancher, too. Yeah, right next to Dave Dexter's place. Now, if ever there was a suspicious hombre, Cisco, Dave Dexter's one for my money. Why do you say that, Sheriff Condon? Because every time there's cattle missing from that section of the country, they're always missing from Roy Dawson's ranch, never from Dave's. Why do you think that Dexter hombre mixed up in the cattle's rustling? Yeah, that's what I've thought for a long time, but I can't prove it. Was Dave Dexter in town the day Tex Rollins tried to rob the bank? Come to think of it, he sure was, Cisco. I saw him myself before I rode out to Roy Dawson's ranch. Uh, Cisco think that Dexter Hombre got something to do with Tex Rollins? I do not know yet, Pancho. Not yet, huh? With your permission, Senor Sheriff, I would like to look around town. No, sure, Cisco. Do as you like. If you find out anything, let me know. Oh, of course, yeah. Sheriff. Come. Come, Pancho. If you need any help, call on me. Gracias, Senor Sheriff. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, Senor Sheriff. All right, you two. You can come out now. Cisco and Pancho are gone. Thought them two'd never leave, Sheriff. We're sure getting stuffy back in that ammunition storeroom, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah, it sure was, Roy. So Cisco knows Tex Rollins had a partner. Yeah. And if I know Cisco, he ain't want to give up till he gets who he's after. Yeah, that's the point. Cisco doesn't know who he's after. Well, clever of you, Sheriff, to set him on to Dave Dexter. Yeah, maybe Cisco and Dexter can eliminate each other. That would save us considerable trouble. Yeah, I reckon it would, but just wanting it uh, don't mean it's going to happen. It will if we arrange the circumstances. How do you figure on doing that? Roy, have one of the boys from your ranch right over to Dave's place. I can send Slim, Paul. What do you want him to do? Have Slim tell Dave a big hombre fit in Cisco's description was arrested by the sheriff and swears that he was hired by Dave to do the cattle rustling. What good will that do? Oh, you ought to be able to figure that out, sheriff. Cisco will be riding for Dave's place after what you told him. Yeah, I believe Cisco will head that way. Yeah, of course he will. I'll hurry over to the bank and make sure the Slim gets to Dexter before Cisco does. <laughs> and knowing how hot-headed Dave Dexter is, he'll shoot first and ask questions later. I guess Cisco and Dave will eliminate each other, Paul. Yeah, either way, we get rid of both of them, Sheriff. One you can arrest for murder. And the other will be dead. That got to be the ranch house that Dexter Hombre, Cisco. See, there is the clump of juniper trees the boy at the livery stable mentioned. Look, Cisco, that tall slim hombre ride his way. Perhaps it is one of Dexter's riders. Maybe it's Dave Dexter, huh? I do not think so, Chico. The livery stable boy said Dexter was a much younger man. We find out soon. See, si. oh, the other who walked out. Oh, look who walked out. Oh. Cisco, that skinny rider, see us and, and turn off the road. Hola, senor. What is this? The rider is Cisco. He not answered you. Oh, he's certainly not very friendly. Can't see another hombre come out of the house, Cisco. Oh, that is probably Dave Dexter. Oh, he's a big hombre, he's big as Cisco. He not look like a rustler. He looks like a hard-working young ranchero. All right, you two formats. That's near enough. Oh, there's a hole. Are you saying you're Dave Dexter? You bet I'm Dave Dexter. I don't know how you got away from the sheriff, but I'm glad you looked me up, you sidewinder. I'm good. Francisco, they're going to go for his gun. My hand. Yeah, that learns you not to try to draw on Cisco. Cisco, shoot the gun from your hand every time. Shoot the gun from my hand, will you? Come down off that horse. Let that guy off the edge, Cisco. I'm trying to tell you. My fist will tell you, you lying skunk. Since you will not listen to an explanation... My fish will have to talk for me. And I think they tell you very plainly that I am in no mood to continue this fight. Uh, maybe Pancho wrong. From the way this maverick act, he got to be mixed up in the cattle's rushing, Cisco. Cisco? Are, are you the Cisco kid? See, si, hombre, I am. 
Sis going to like to have no coyote draw a gun on him. Well, I never would have drawn a gun if I'd known you was a Cisco kid. I was expecting someone else. You were, senor? Who were you expecting? A couple of other hombres. One of them fits your description, Cisco. The other one fits Pancho. If the prescription like Cisco and Pancho, then they got to be Cisco and Pancho. That's the way I figured it. When Slim Tugwell told me the big hombre lied about me. Slim Tugwell? Was that the hombre who rode away just before we arrived? That was him, Cisco. What he tells you, huh? That the man fitting Cisco's description told Sheriff Conlon I'd hired him to rustle cattle from Roy Dawson. Well, maybe the two other hombres might fit the same prescription of Cisco and Pancho. No, I do not think so, amigo. You do not think so, huh? I think Slim Tugwell lied to stir up trouble. By thunder, I'll bet you're right, Cisco. Ever since cattle started missing from Dawson's place, the sheriff's been hitting I had something to do with it. Say, that's a funny thing. What a funny thing, Senor Dexter. Slim Tugwell works for Dawson. Do you suppose... Suppose what, Senor, huh? Dawson must have sent Slim Tugwell out here with that made-up story, hoping that I'd kill you, Cisco. But Pancho and I do not even know this Dawson hombre. And only the sheriff knew we might come to your place. Tarnation, that's it, Cisco. The sheriff and the banker must be in cahoots, trying to set us against each other. I believe you are right, Senor Dave. We will find out for sure. What we do, Cisco? What we do? What we do? The huh? three of us are going back to town. To the town, huh? There'll be a showdown with Sheriff Conlon and Banker Dawson. Yes, yes. And unless I miss my guess, we will find out about this mysterious hombre Tex Rollins was supposed to meet. Sheriff Conlon. Oh, Roy. Glad you find you both waiting in my office for me. Howdy, Roy. Did you talk to Slim? Yeah, her plans got messed up. What? Well, didn't Slim do what you told him? Yeah, Paul, he did. After he talked to Dave Dexter, rode away from the ranch house, hid in a clump of trees, and watched with a pair of field glasses. And? Cisco and Dave had a fight. Then they started comparing notes. Dave Punch and the Cisco kid are headed back to Gila Bend. Hmm. That means there'll be a showdown, Roy. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. There'll be a showdown if they reach town. Uh, what do you got in mind, Paul? We'll ride out to meet those three. Somewhere along the road, there ought to be a good place to hide. I know just the spot. They got to cross the river at Triple O Crossing. Yeah, you could look all day and you couldn't find a better place to dry gulch them. Hide in the branches of the oak tree and gun them down as they ride past. Uh, excellent. We've got important plans to carry out. Nothing must stand in our way. I want three graves in Boot Hill filled with the dead bodies of Dave Dexter, Pancho, and the Cisco Kid. And the odds are greatly against our friends as they will not suspect an ambush as they cross the river. In just a moment, we'll return to... The Cisco Kid. And now back to the Cisco Kid in our gripping story... Double cross at Gila Bend. After a bitter fight with rancher Dave Dexter, Cisco discovers a plot is being hatched against the lives of our friends and Dave. Cisco deduces that banker Roy Dawson and crooked Sheriff Conlon of Gila Bend are responsible. What he does not know is that as he, Poncho, and Dave Dexter approach the river, death awaits them in the branches of the triple oak tree, which grows by the river bank. That's fine, Sheriff Conlon. You're hitting that tree so well, I can't see you myself. Cisco will never think of looking for me up here, Roy. You sure there's no other place for Dave, Cisco, and Pancho to cross the river? I'm sure, Paul. This is the only ford on the Gila River for miles. I ought to know. I had all this land surveyed. What'd you have it surveyed for, Roy? Ah, thought it might come in useful someday. I'd better come down out of this tree. Now then... Useful for what, Roy? Since we've gone this far together, there's no reason why the sheriff shouldn't know the whole plan, Roy. Yeah, 
It's not as though we didn't want you to know, Sheriff. Then why didn't you tell me? If either of you think you can double-cross me like you did Tex Rollins, you got another thing coming. Oh, I assure you, Sheriff, we have no intention of doing any such thing. I remember that. Though I've thrown in with you buzzards, I'm still sheriff, and if I use these guns on you, it'll be in the name of the law. Yeah, the truth of the matter is, Sheriff Conlon, we're after bigger game than just a control of Gila Bend. Yeah, we figured the townsfolk would get suspicious if I tried to buy up the land from them. I know all about that. Paul was supposed to buy the land from him cheap. That's why we let him play hero after he shot Tex Rollins. But that still don't tell me why you had the land along the river surveyed. For the same reason we wanted to get the land in and around town. And that reason? I know for a fact the railroad's coming through Gila Bend. Yeah, and the railroad's going to need this land for a right away. Why were you holding out on me? Figuring to cut me out of that part of the deal? Not at all, Sheriff Conlon. You know we can't operate in this town without you. Sure, that's the truth, Sheriff. Besides, we'd never go against them guns of yours. We are no match for you in a gunfight. I'm glad you realize that. I hope you realize, Sheriff Conlon, that we don't have a chance to succeed if anyone connects me with you, too. That's right. It'd be all kind of questions. No need for anyone to find out, Paul. Hey, there's a cloud of dust behind that rise of ground. Must be Cisco Pancho and Dave Dexter. Yeah, you'd better get back up into that tree, Sheriff. Yeah, and be sure to get Cisco first. He's the most dangerous to us. <laughs> Oh, you hide over behind those rocks and back me up. Now, you'd better ride down to town, Paul, and get busy on this land deal. Yeah. As for Cisco, after he rides under this tree, he ain't going to be dangerous to no one. There there is, Cisco. But that's not the same place we crossed before. Of course it is, Pancho. There's the triple oak tree we had to ride under. This is the only place for miles along the Gila River, Poncho, where you can ford it. Oh, she finds you remember that triple oak tree. Oh, they'll walk, walk. Oh, oh. oh look, walk to the river. You we'll let the horses drink, Chico. Oh, they'll hold. Oh, 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 look, oh, look, oh. Drink, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Drink, that's your word. Go on, drink, drink. The more I think about it, the more everything adds up. Of course, that sheriff and banker Dawson are in cahoots. That's what you said before, sir, you Dave. Look, but why'd you pour the water like that? Lift the reins, Pancho. Huh? When a horse paws that way, it sometimes means he wants to lie down in the water. Oh, well, see, Pancho, lift the reins. Pick up your head, Lobo. Oh, now the apple pouring the water, Cisco. He's going to lie down. I don't think so. His head is up in the air. There's something wrong. Hold up. Oh, what is the matter? <laughs> Look out. It came from that tree. You just missed me because the apple moved. Up there. Come on. Get up there. Go, Lobo. Go, Lobo. Go. You will not get a chance to use that gun again, you mommerick. Pancho, get him with the bull whip, Cisco. Oh, Lobo. Oh, now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold I can only get a shot at him. Nah, you cut your tepacho show you. No! You blasted sidewinder! We were right, Cisco. It's the sheriff. Try to drag on, Jesse. Let me help you, Cisco. Stay out of this, here, Dave. I can handle it myself. Now, uh, we'll see about that. <coughs> Hello, Cisco. Uh, knock that crooked sheriff down. As soon as I get to my feet, I'll show you. You are wrong. It is I who will show you. Uh, and enough? <coughs> yeah, 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 enough. Then after I drag you up on land, Sheriff Conlon... You are going to tell me what you and Banker Roy Dawson are up to. Uh, at the same time, you can also explain why Dawson sent Slim Tugwell to me with that lie about Cisco. Better for you to ask him to go now. Get Cisco, Dawson! Kill him! Get out here! I'll go after Dawson. You and Pancho stay here with the sheriff. Hit! 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 I can still see you. This rope of mine will drag you down out of there, Pronto. But I'm ho-ho. I won't miss you again, Cisco. Now that you've written so close. There remains to be seen. As soon as I get this rope off of me, I'll... I have no intention of letting you get loose, Dawson. Up, Diablo, come on. Once we get you and the sheriff together, we'll find out what we want to know. Where, Cisco? You wrote that Dawson over there. Make him follow you over here. Hey. You can turn Dawson loose now, Cisco. I got my gun on him. Oh, devil. Ho, ho. <coughs> you two coyotes have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Why'd you try to kill Cisco and Pancho and send your Dave? I ain't saying nothing. Maybe you treat me with my fists will loosen up their tongues. No, Senor Dave. I do not think that is necessary. There is another hombre mixed up in this business with you. Where is he? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Cisco. Uh, the hombre takes all and supposed to meet here, and the sheriff know about that because Cisco tell him. Let me. I know how to make him talk, Cisco. We do not have to use their methods, Senor Dave. 
I think we can figure this out for ourselves. I figure till you blew in the face. We ain't gonna tell you nothing. What'd you figure out, Cisco, huh? The hombre who shot Tex Rollins in the back is the third coyote we are after. You mean that Paul Morgan? Well, he's a hero around town. Everybody looks up to him. I think that is just the way the three of them planned it. But why? Why did they do it, Cisco? We will learn the answer when we get hold of Paul Morgan. But if you're right, Cisco, he's certain to lay low with them moose. Yeah, that Morgan only not show his hand when he find out Cisco know about the sheriff and the banker. Uh, how we know where to look for him? We will not go after him, Pancho. He will come to us when he learns we are holding these two prisoners. Yeah, you're smart, Cisco, but Morgan's smarter. I think you've dealt yourself aces and eights. Aces and eights? Yeah. A dead man's hand. Mm, Parson, I like to hear the rain on the tin roof of this jail, Cisco. The only thing about the rain that concerns me is that it may keep Morgan away from here, Pancho. Are you sure it's Morgan we're after, Cisco? I asked Dawson and the sheriff when I locked him in the cell... And they wouldn't admit to nothing. I am sure, Senor Dave. Morgan is the third hombre we are after. Pancho still not can understand what they're after. We know Morgan has been trying to buy up strips of land heading east toward your rancho, Senor Dave. And Dawson's been trying to get me to sell my spread. Santos! That bullet went through my sombrero. Put out the light, Pancho. Well, Pancho, do this, Cisco. Mother me, it's dark in here. I'm going out after that sight. Nothing here, Dave. It seems I am the one he is after. As there are a few questions I want answered. Adios. Francisco, do not see the moon tonight. Pancho would only keep quiet. Morgan, we are both hidden in the shadows. Either drop your gun or start shooting. Pancho, want to be with you, Why did you not say what you were? Uh, Senor Dave, why did you say it from that bangle? Uh, that bullet come close, Francisco. There is your help, Pancho. That Morgan Coyote got away. Uh, how we find him now? Sis cannot know what he looked like. No, I do not. To make matters more difficult, those gunshots have brought other hombres under the street. But they all stand by the doorways. They're not wanted to be hit by a bullet. Pancho, you stay here. That is an order. But Cisco... I said stay here. Yeah, hey, all right, Cisco, but Pancho would like to do it. What are you doing out so late at night, hombre? <sighs> I heard the gunshots. I was curious, like the other townspeople. I'm looking for Paul Morgan. Oh? Are you Morgan? You see for yourself by the light of this match. Well? I do not know, hombre. But Dave Dexter does. You are coming back to the jail with me. Sure. And this knife will finish you, sister. <laughs> not unless you fight as good as you talk, hombre. Now stop talking when you're dead. If you're risking, oh. go right to the oh. jaw. Oh. And you can say good night to your two partners in jail. Hey, Pancho. I just still not understand why those bad hombres try to buy all that land. Oh, to sell it to the railroad for a right-of-way, Pancho. You heard them accuse each other at the trial. He'll have been be a better town now those coyotes in the jail. Hey, it'll be a much better town. Especially now that Dave Dexter is the sheriff. You know that Dave Dexter make a good sheriff, Cisco. Oh, see, si, Chico, I am sure he will. <laughs> and say to Dave, tell Pancho a very funny question. What was the question, Pancho? Uh, Senor Dave said to Pancho, 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 he said, if you're walking down by the river and your watch fall in the water, what time it is? Well, well, that is a funny question, Chico. <laughs> Very funny. Huh? How would you know what time it is if your watch falls into the water? Oh, that is easy, Cisco. See, si, see, si, well done, me. Uh, time to buy a new watch. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> and so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West. The Cisco Kid.
Be sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather. Poncho by Harry Lang. <laughs>